guys, Jake here, aka Munwish, and I'm bringing you my first in 40 tutorial in the history of the world, so I really hope you're excited. At least I know I am, so yeah, let's get started. The thing we'll be doing today is that we'll put on some text onto this roof and we'll try to give it some realistic look by giving it some shadows and maybe some reflections and stuff, so yeah, let's get started. I've set up a basic scene here in Cinema 4D with just some text and a sky and once you've done that just import some text you will have to import the picture you want the text to be on so you just make a background right here and make a new material where you load the image that you want the text to be on I want it to be on this roof picture right here so I'll just load that one and drag the material onto the background and we should have a the picture in the background so that's awesome now the next thing you want to do is before you place the text onto this roof you want to make a plane like this and you can um, you start you can just start out by rotating rotating exactly 90 degrees on the P axis I think <laughs> I don't know why, why it's P but just do that and place it right behind the text like this and now now you're ready to place the text onto the background you just choose the plane and the text by holding down control and you can use these tools to like rotate it so it looks like it's laying on the roof like this. Now, the next thing you want to do is you can increase the size of this pl plane by just typing in, I think, thousand seems good, and just drag the plane behind the query text. Like this. Now, now you want, when you render it out, you got a big ugly plane right here. Now, how you get rid of the plane is just you drag the plane down on the background and right click on it and go to cinema 40 text compositing and enable composting background like this now the thing we'll use the plane for is it will simulate it will, it will be the roof so we can put on some shadows and stuff and the way we put on shadows is simply we make a light and we'll put it where the sun will be or where where we want the shadows to come from and under the light we go under shadow and choose shadow maps soft and we'll pre-render that out and you can see it got some shadows now one more thing you can do, do is that you can put on some reflections onto the text to make it look like it's reflecting the background and its surroundings so for that you want to have a picture of the sky like when you took this picture you'll just turn around and take a picture of the sky but um, for now I'll just use a texture of one of these rocks as an example so just make a new material and on that material we'll disable color and en enable reflection and on reflection we'll load the image that we want for you that would be the picture of the sky, but I will have to use a query stone texture because I don't have a picture of the sky right now. Once you've you're done with that and have dragged the material onto the text object, you um go under projection and choose cubic and it should be like this. Voila. Now imagine this just with the picture of the sky instead. That's basically it. I really hope this helped and if you got any questions just leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as, as soon as I can and if this helped be sure to leave a like. Thanks for watching and goodbye.